Exit challenge. How fast can you exit your vehicle? What's up everybody? Today we are going to be going over emergency exits out of your race car. An emergency exit is never something you want to have to do, but it is something that you should know how to do. There are four steps you can practice to ensure a safe, fast exit from your vehicle in case of a fire or some other emergency. The best way to counteract a fire is to kill the power in your car. Killing the power in your vehicle stops the fuel flow to the engine and the oil pressure in your vehicle. Step number two, an emergency exit. You have to stop the vehicle. You do not want the vehicle to continue moving. In most drift cars, you have a e-brake or a hydraulic handbrake. Sometimes you don't have the parking brake. In my vehicle, I do have a parking brake. So when you stop your vehicle, pull the parking brake so it does not move. Step number three in exiting your vehicle, you need to release your harnesses. Most race harnesses release fairly easy. My harnesses are just a standard seatbelt four point harness. Other harnesses may be a twist to release. And finally, step number four, you exit the vehicle. That is the most important thing when you stop the vehicle and release the harness is exiting the vehicle. If you're able to grab your fire extinguisher when you are exiting, do so at that time. If you cannot access your fire extinguisher for some reason, just get out. Being at a track, there are track workers that have access to a fire extinguisher right next to them get out of the vehicle, they can extinguish the fire for you. When we're talking fire extinguishers, you do not have to be trained to operate one. Fire extinguishers are fairly simple to operate. You pull this pin hard, point at the base of the fire and squeeze the trigger. I will show you a few different angles in which I exit my vehicle, one from the roll bar and one from the exterior, just so you guys can see exiting a vehicle in a fast fashion. The first few attempts will be pretty slow, just so I can walk through the steps so you guys can see them and you can practice them on your own. I am guilty of it, just like many of you. I have not practiced this enough. It is a good idea to practice it a few times, just so you have it in the back of your mind in case something does happen on the track. Like I had said, my harnesses is a four point harness with a just push button release and it comes apart very fast, very easy. Now I'm kind of going to simulate exiting the vehicle as fast as I can. The first couple of takes, I will go slow so I can go through the steps for you guys. You're gonna power off the car. Mine is already off. Once you have the vehicle powered off, you then want to come to a complete stop and pull your parking brake if you have one. Then you're going to remove your harnesses as fast as you can, then you exit the vehicle. I'm gonna do that one more time so you guys can see those steps and then you can practice it in the future. The harnesses are nice and tight again. We'll give this another shot. We'll go step by step. You're gonna power off the vehicle, come to a complete stop, parking brake on, release harnesses, and exit the vehicle. Now these steps are easier said than done. When you actually start to do this and practice it, you'll realize you're maybe not as experienced in exiting your vehicle as you really thought. Now in a fire situation, you will be full of adrenaline and it will be a lot more difficult to exit your vehicle in a fast fashion. And that is why you practice ahead of time just in case something does happen. The best way to practice a fast exit is with the actual equipment you will have on during race day. Your gloves, your helmet, and or race shoes or any other attire that you would have on while racing. So I'm gonna throw my equipment on and start to do some of the fast exits. I'll have the key on but not the car on just so there is that actual movement turning the key. I'll just do this one a slow one again as well now that I have the gear on. It is a little bit different and it's a little more clunky when you're trying to get out of the vehicle. Fire, 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 key off, e-brake, harnesses. And exit the vehicle. When you do do it with the equipment on, it is a lot more challenging because you have gloves on and you have a helmet. So it's a lot more difficult and tricky to move around. Now we'll try and speed it up a little bit and see how fast we can do it. If you can exit your vehicle in about five to 10 seconds, that's pretty good. You also have to take into consideration the stopping of the vehicle. Most of the time you're going between 40 and 60 miles an hour on the track. Now we'll do another exit view from the inside so you can see kind of what my hands and feet are doing when I'm trying to stop the vehicle. Obviously I'm not moving right now. I'm still gonna practice applying the brake, parking brake, power, all of that so you guys can see. Fire, 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 power off, stop the vehicle, e-brake, harnesses, and exit the vehicle. Ah, oh, I slipped up there. See, when you're practicing, you still can have mistakes. One little mistake isn't the end of the world. 
Now I haven't been grabbing my fire extinguisher. I just have it set on my seat. Fire extinguisher, yes, it is important to grab it if you can, but the main thing is to exit the vehicle. Your life is more important than your vehicles, but your vehicle is replaceable. You are not. Just practicing it. These aren't super extremely fast, but at least we're getting some practice. Fire, fire, fire. Stop the car, power off, parking brake, harnesses, and exit the vehicle. You can practice an emergency exit in any vehicle you own, even your daily driver. Drop a comment down below how fast you can exit your vehicle. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.